actually get free connects on Upwork? And if you run out of them, should you buy more? And also, how do you make it so they don't just run out again tomorrow? Hi, if you don't know me, my name is Sylvia and I've been freelancing on Upwork for the past 11 years and I only ever spent like five bucks on connects maybe ten i know from speaking to many of you how it feels like to just spend all your connects and in some cases even buy some more thinking you can make those work and then just still don't get any results it sucks so in today's video i'm revisiting an old topic that was actually quite popular here on the channel and that's how you can get connects for free uh but that's not all in this video, I'm actually going to extend that into other things that can help you make good use of your connects. We'll cover whether or not you should buy connects after you run out, what you should and shouldn't use connects for, whether or not it's worth it to buy Upwork Pro versus just buying your connects separately. And lastly, we'll talk about how you can make your connects last as long as possible. We've got a lot to cover. I'll have timestamps down below for you guys so you can follow along. Uh, yeah, let's dive in. All right, so the first thing I want to cover is how many connects can you get for free? Uh, you'll receive 50 free connects within 48 hours when you create an upper profile for the first time. So if you're new to Upwork and you're still within those 48 hours, you're eventually going to receive 50 free connects if you haven't yet i recommend holding on to those until we get to the last thing other than that you'll also receive 30 free connects so that's on top of your 50 if you earn a rising talent badge and in case you're curious i'll have right here on the screen so you can pause to read what you need to get to rising talent you'll also receive free connects and they say the number in this can vary when you win an interview with an established client on Upwork, you'll also get a one-time Connects bonus. They don't say how much, but any Connects are good, right? If you complete an Upwork skill certification. So yeah, that's the free Connects part. Plus you also get, like I mentioned before, 10 free Connects each month. So if you don't have any right now, wait a month or wait until the end of your 30 day period and you'll get 10 more. I know it's not enough for most proposals, but it's still helpful, I guess. But once you run out of them, or if you have run out of them already, should you actually buy more? Or should you wait for the free ones or just go to another platform? What should you do? And again, totally up to you. But in my opinion, long story short i would say yes it's worth buying more if and that's a big if if you're going to uh, use them properly and that's what we're going to talk about at the end of this video so stay tuned for that but yeah i think it's definitely worth buying more but be careful <laughs> about it be strategic not careful i also wanted to talk about what you should and shouldn't use connects for in my opinion you should spend connects or use connects for sending proposals i know some of them are like 16 connects now which makes it weird that they still give you only 10 free connects a month but whatever but yeah i believe you should use them to send proposals again like i said strategically don't just send a proposal to any job you think you can do pick them carefully and send good carefully crafted well thought out proposals but in my opinion what you shouldn't waste them on because in my opinion it's a waste you shouldn't use them to boost your proposals unless you're super confident in them but this comes with time i don't think you should boost your initial proposals until you find a proposal structure that works for you and your clients and your service this means that I would personally wait until you get hired from something in order to boost a proposal that's similar to that one that you got hired for. Hope that makes sense. If you really want to get noticed, just work on your hook. That first sentence of your proposal, make that eye-catching. Put yourself in a client's shoes. Like if you read that as a client, would you click on it? If not, go back to the drawing board and rewrite that as many times as uh, needed uh, until you find that winning pitch. I also wouldn't use it to boost your profile. Again, if you know you have a great profile, maybe, 
maybe consider that for a little bit but i would consider a great profile something that has at least one review i'm sorry it's just more trustworthy so i wouldn't spend money on something that you don't know works that you don't have proof that works and you also shouldn't spend proposals or waste proposals uh, not proposals connects sorry in boosting projects and that's the things that you have on your project catalog those fiverr-esque projects gigs whatever services packages <laughs> how many th how many ways can i name the same thing i'm actually still testing this myself so i hope i'm not a hypocrite in saying this i literally just before i hit record on this i spent i believe 18 connects on two boosted projects so i'll keep you posted on that maybe on my instagram the handle will be right here it's the same as my youtube so it's easy um but yeah, uh, again, like the others, I wouldn't put money behind anything that you don't know already works. Fourth thing I wanted to talk about in this video is buying connects versus buying Upwork Pro. Because if you don't know the membership, the Upwork membership, I did a full video on that. The link will be in the corner. But it costs currently $15 a month and you get X amount of connects but you also get other perks. We'll put the perks right here on the screen so you can have a look at it. In my opinion, if you're just starting out and you could use the extra help, I would personally try it out for a month. 15 bucks, it's not that much in my opinion. So just try it out for a month. Don't forget to cancel it because I did and pay for two months with no need. Essentially, you just pay a little bit more than you would with just the normal connects individually and you get access to a private group and things like free coaching, which is a free if you paid for it. Not really, but it's helpful and they can help you review your profile and your proposals and everything like that. So do I think it's worth it? If you're new, yes. And even myself not being new at all, it's always good to have a second pair of eyes looking at your things because you're always going to be biased in some way. That being said, I will note here that as I was doing research for this video, they will be increasing the price from 15 to $20 in the next week, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the date right here. So if you want to try it out and you're watching this on time, you may want to jump on that sooner rather than later. They will be offering other stuff. So for example, instead of the 80 connects that you get from the plus membership, you will start getting a hundred and you also get some AI thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that's all about, but still, if you join now, it will be around 18 cents per connect. And if you join then it will be 20. I think the regular price is like 15, so not that big of a deal. But if you want to join, I would join now. Again, I'll have that link down below. And lastly, I want to talk about how you can make your connects last because you spent money on them probably and you, want, you don't just want to throw them away. And even if you didn't, like you want to make them last so you don't have to buy them. So if you want to save your money and your time, you want to be smart about your connects. Would I prefer for a connect not to exist? No, actually, I like them. <laughs> I know, sue me. I don't like for them to be paid and for us to need so many of them all the time. So I would still like to, for them to be limited, but that's beside the point and I don't make the rules. So, but I'll say this, it all starts, or at least it should start with a great profile. You want to have it 100% complete. So no 99, 95, 90, none of that crap. I'll link below an Upwork resource to actually help you get to 100% because there's different combinations that you can do. But on your profile, not only do you want to have it complete with just nonsense, you also want to make sure that it speaks to your client and their needs. So take your time to research about your service, other freelancers in your industry, and even about your ideal client and what they do and what they struggle with. That will all come in handy to craft the perfect profile because truth is i see far too many people just complaining about it that upwork doesn't work and all that is oftentimes because they didn't work for it 
Sorry. And of course, after you have a good profile, you want to start sending good proposals. And I actually did a full series here on YouTube reviewing my subscribers proposals. So if you want it, I'll link it right here so you can see what to do and what to avoid.